could sit over here. Yeah. And it might do. Yeah. No, it might just, be enough. Just, just a tiny bit of vertigo. No problem. Oh, okay. oh yeah. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> It might be good that you are not far away because you're recording the sound. No, it's just, this is actually pretty great. Yeah, actually. good. So, mm -hmm. um, it's recording. I get this constant feeling this is a shaver. Yes, I know. It does look like it. Every like, single time. Like, mm. <laughs> And it's really, it, it, does, it does it does look like that sometimes, um, and That's feels feels cool. oddly not very unlike to like, unlike it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And he, and he has another one mm. that just looks like a taser. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, it's actually in, <laughs> over there. Over there, it does look like a taser. Either sha uh, either razors or shavers or shavers <laughs> or tasers. I mean, uh, they rhyme. It's the same shavers. to me. <laughs> shavers, <Yeah>. the shavers. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Uh, but um, this is, Jenny, you, you, may, you might might want to want to say hi by scratching the surface of the mic. Okay. Hello. I get very gentle when I scratch something. I think. Of Pets and dogs and things. I wish I wish my I wish my microphone was a dog or a, a cat or some some sort of pet. What's your favorite sort of pet? Dog. Dog. Yeah, I've grown up with dogs, so I love them. Mm. Okay. What sort? What breed? Which breed? Um, I grew up with uh, like true Norwegian or Scandinavian dogs. Um, one German Shepherd, mm -hmm. or two German Shepherds actually, and. Uh, no, uh, a Swedish lapun, which is a, a. Maybe you don't know this. <laughs> no, I do, I do not know this. But everything is Googleable. So. It's a, it's a kind of small. It's not like a husky, but it's black and smaller. But, but it's like um, almost like a samoyed, mm -hmm. but smaller okay. and black, and it barks a lot. And apparently it has this special bark. I know this is horribly uninteresting. <laughs> but it has a special bark that's sort of um, sung in a different tone. Oh. So that because, because it's um, herding like reindeer. So oh. it's meant to be, hello, I'm not scary. Hello, <laughs> hello. Get your asses out of there. <laughs> I'm not going to eat you. So it's it's not this, it's, it's a different kind of bark. But it's still oh. really annoying. And I used to hear it at school when I was in school. And it was... About a, at least a kilometer away, and mm -hmm. I was hearing it every, like all day long. Mm -hmm. But it, it, apparently, it's not a, a yippy bark. It's not like no, 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 no. no. It's not the chihuahua. Oh, it's not okay. the rat bark. Okay, okay. So it's more like a weird howl. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Cool. That's that's fantastic. See, this is this is totally new info. I'm pretty sure, uh, like, no one from at least from here will know what you're talking about, which is awesome, I think. It might yeah. also be slightly untrue, as I'm not the specialist. <laughs> slightly untrue. <laughs> it's my middle name. <laughs> I, could also, I could also add that the first song I wrote and recorded on my own was um, about that dog. Oh. So maybe it w I even started singing because of that special bark. As a as a solo artist, or as or in that band that you had, uh, the metal one. No, no solo artist. Oh, I mean, I wasn't an artist. I, I was just yeah, on my own, sure? lonely, lonely girl, <laughs> <laughs> recording. Uh -huh. Yeah. And and because um, uh, metal songs about dogs might be something that never has existed before. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm not. I'm not a uh, uh, metal songs about dogs. Something that should exist. I'm sure, I'm sure there's hounds of something. Mm. There's oh, sure. there's wolves? always hounds of something. Uh, yes, werewolves. werewolves? Wolves and werewolves. It's all the same thing. So it's all, it's okay. all puppies. Okay, okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, canis lupus lupus, the, the werewolves. <laughs> exactly. So, um, um, canis lupus lupus is the name of the metal album waiting to happen, so... There you go. Right. But I'm pretty sure that it exists already. I mean, what, what am I talking about? <laughs> but, um, and, and never underestimate death metal. Death metal is all about werewolves. Well, werewolves, exactly, sure. exactly, exactly. Um, but, um... May I just ask, uh, what, how, do you, how do you pronounce your, your last name? It's just Hval? Hval. Hval, okay. Don't worry about the H. H. Okay, okay. I, I've been um, saying, pronouncing the H uh, out of pure uh, lack of knowledge, I guess. Lack of Norwegian knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Jenny Val. Okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Because, uh, easy. easy, easy on the H. Mm -hmm. Easy on the H, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Apocalypse, girl, you know, <laughs> yeah. commas. Um, 
Is that the way you're supposed to pronounce the album name? Apocalypse, apocalypse girl. Apocalypse, apocalypse comma girl. Are uh, you supposed to say the comma? Mm, okay. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to be aware of it because oh. it's not the the Marvel uh, superstar, the super hero. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I mean, okay, I understand. Th- that would be a person with the special powers of apocalypse. Mm. Interesting, but. <laughs> something else mm-hmm. it's, uh, so much nowadays is just you know syntax and where you put the commas I guess maybe maybe mostly mm-hmm. about putting them wrong <laughs> yes. in the wrong place sure. I don't know if you have that here that people uh, like lots of shops have the right like the, the the name of the shop is incorrect because it's mm. resembling English or something that this is very common in mm-hmm. in Norway put people put in a, apostrophes Completely oh, out of place. Oh, I completely out of place. Oh, people don't know you where. Have no ev- idea what a possessive is. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> they never know. It's, this is true, though. Then it's it's a pet peeve of mine, actually. Um, not necessarily a pet peeve. I just really dislike it. It is. It is. It is. Because everybody's. I think mm-hmm. that everyone knows how to write. I think, or like some sort of formal, you know, order. Yeah, but if you make it, if you if you open a shop. It should be correct because it's going to annoy people for years and years. I mean, yeah. unless you really want to annoy people so that they come in and shop in your shop, but that's sort of old. Mm. Yeah. That's been used before. <laughs> and, and why, and especially, why use another language when you can use your your own? If you're going to use it incorrectly, just don't, don't. Oh, well, that yeah, sounds exactly. like a, that's like no. sounds like a record review of my work, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. And I sing in English too. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, Jenny, what are you doing? <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good description, I think. <laughs> Truly. Oh. Has, every, uh, has anyone ever uh, pointed out to you anything that in, in English, by the way, in a more serious, actually, has that happened at any, any, at any point? I'm always hoping to get the record v- review where people actually go through my lyrics and just, like, with a red pen and say, this is wrong and this is wrong and this is wrong. But it's never happened. Oh, okay. okay. I guess, I mean, I, you sort of have to... People have to take seriously these days the fact that a lot of people are writing in English as a second language. Mm-hmm. And um, it seems like a lot of listeners are quite happy to um, to just um, go with it and uh-huh. um, and just see it as something interesting that is kind of exploring language mm-hmm. in a way they couldn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's funny, no, it's, it's just true because, for instance... Uh, over here, well, something uh, ta- speaking about pet peeves, or this is something I actually actively dislike, not mm-hmm. just a pet peeve. Pet peeves, uh, like well, okay, sure, uh, this is something that kind of gets on my nerves. This is something I really, really dislike, which is Portugal has a, a, um, a specific accent, which is uh, which I cannot do uh, speaking in English, and uh, which I, I I'm not even able to explain to you how it is, but it's um, um, it's been very much used in, uh, in in the in music for the past few decades, but it's starting to go away now people have developed real, uh, have dropped that weird accent and um but it's funny because it's turned around on its head and when you look at for instance um french artists spe- uh, singing in uh, in uh, in english it's always affected it's always very french mm-hmm. and it's quite kind of endearing in a way it's kind of cute you know and, and, and i'm not sure if uh, people from abroad uh, would listen to portuguese music uh, or the portuguese accent in english and then would go like hmm this is this is kind of cute i like this you know so uh, but still i can't tell in, in your music at all so, so have uh, you heard the norwegian english accent before <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty bad would you like not to hear it ever in music <laughs> i think it's really cute actually <laughs> I think it's really Cute. This actually, is this cute. is how Norwegian politicians speak. <laughs> but that's cute. I like it. Really? I, like it. I mean, yeah. I, the problem is the intonation. It's like a dead person. It's zombie <laughs> language. It's it's funny because it's funny because th- that reminded me of 
someone uh, I heard speak English about ten, 15 years ago on TV, oh, on TV, which was, was no, which was from Nor he was from Norway. He's actually now in uh, now since forever, I guess, in Turbo Negro, and uh, Knut from the uh, from Euroboys or uh, Cardi and the Caveman. Uh, Speaks exactly like with that accent. I just this just, this just came to me. It. Probably not as bad. I no, no, no. He's pretty, pretty. He's pretty good. But that 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 slight the way this the tiny details that you know. You know that they control the culture scene in Norway now. Really? They're like they become older, and one of them has a TV show. So oh, it's turned into some kind of satire. Mm. And uh, Knut Steiner, he's now. Um, He's now like more of a critic, um, really? as well as still playing in the band. Oh. Um, so is it taboo speaking of Turbo Negro? Hmm? For, is it taboo speaking of, to speak of Turbo Negro? Is no, I don't think so. Oh, okay, cool. But That's I mean, good. I've, I've, I've never really been a part of that scene. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it wouldn't be taboo to speak of them, but it definitely would not be... Um, I would definitely not be the right person to speak with. Sure. Because I don't actually know a lot. I, okay, okay, <laughs> sure, sure. But they're sure, a big sure, thing and they sure. have quite a bit of control over, uh -huh. you know, quite a bit of power in the in the culture that's, scene uh, in that's Norway. That's interesting. That's interesting. And, and cool because at least they don't suck, you know. Because <laughs> sometimes what tends to happen is maybe people who are in control mm. just produce crap and mm. or, don't, or don't produce anything at all or don't produce anything at all and they're still creatively active so it's fine okay so no, no, enough of turbo negro on your videos there is recurring presence of i ho hope i'm pronouncing their names right but zia anger and uh annie bielski mm -hmm. um on the, especially on your latest videos and i've seen performances uh, of them on stage did you bring them with you or no no, no okay. i need tons of money money because okay, okay. i need <laughs> sure. tons of money for the flights uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. give me money okay <laughs> <laughs> of course, no, because no. it's worth it. It's um, um, no, it's it's actually not. We we don't need that much money, but it's more that we need to have uh, because but for for them to be able to come over here, you can't just do one show. You can't you can't spend all that um, flight um, mm. petrol. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then yeah. have one show. Yeah. It's horrible. I mean, yeah. I even try to avoid doing one-offs because of that. Um, mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, I just, I just need, I just need to know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> but 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 we've been good. We've been uh, traveling, um, and I've been able to bring them when I've had like a longer run of shows, mm -hmm. and it's been amazing. Mm -hmm. But they've also had a lot of impact on what I do without them, mm -hmm. which has been great. It's like um, continuous development of. Something that also exists without them. It's mm -hmm. like I'm, you know, it's like I'm on stage now writing letters to them. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Uh, and uh, and uh, how how much money do you spend on wigs, for instance? Well, I have a bit of a wig budget, I must admit, <laughs> but they're very very cheap. They usually, yeah. you know, most of my wigs are under ten euros each. Okay. Okay. But I've probably bought about twenty of them. Oh, it's, it's, Cause cause the one time we had nine people on stage and they all had to have wigs, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> so seems obvious to me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And uh, how many wigs, wigs per person? As far, how far do you go? Um, I just tried to have enough for whoever's with me, although mm. now it's just me. Okay. I got a new one in um, Manchester. So I'm oh. excited about that tonight. Uh, and how is it? It's very natural compared to mm. many of the others in terms of how the... I mean, I've had some terrible ones. The one Annie's been wearing in particular is like... It's like, you know, it's like stepping into plastic. Uh -huh. But oh. this one seems natural and it's really weird. I've become used to this kind of plastic smelling horror. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden this is this was bought in a wig shop that was selling a lot of natural hair. Oh. So it's it was slightly more expensive, but it wasn't... I mean, I mm. could never afford the, the real ones. Mm -hmm. Um, but it's it's a it's a particular kind of um, it's it's a very particular type of shop. When mm -hmm. you go into a wig shop, it's very interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, do you do you get them pre-styled or do you like to style them yourself? No, I buy them and then I wear them. I like to I like the the look of something pre-fabricated. Yeah. 
um, because that's really what the wigs are. Mm -hmm. They're made to look sexy mm -hmm. usually in a yeah. sort of stereotypical way and I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. I feel like when, when I'm wearing that, something doesn't fit, but I'm really enjoying exploring that. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel it, it brings out a certain type of emotion as well. Mm -hmm. A bit like the kind of emotion you would have if you went through a lot of... Um, plastic surgery mm -hmm. but you would still be your age you know yeah mm -hmm. Sad, the sadness mm -hmm. and, and attempts mm -hmm. of playing a role that you'd really just it's doomed isn't it uh, i'm assuming it feels kind of detached there's some detachment for, in the physicality of it i guess mm -hmm. in, 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 in emotional in emotional in emotional terms i mean so, so i mean because you have that um you're you're wearing that as something feels does it throw you off? Is it something that uh, is, it, is it a catalyst for your expression? I, I would say this is a very yeah. serious question. But I think so. It's it's um, it's uh, what am I looking for? For instance, this is, for instance when crown when you crown of sadness. Oh, it's a crown of sadness. Modern crown oh. of sadness. Oh. And then I have I use my iPhone a lot on stage, and that is like what do you call it? The scepter, scepter, the scepter, scepter, yeah, scepter, yeah, yeah. scepter of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have the yoga ball, which is the throne of sadness. Oh, okay. So, it's, yeah, it's a complete set. <laughs> <laughs> it's a complete set. The trifecta of sadness. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very nice. I search the oven. The this goes on a podcast called Made of Things, and uh, what are made the ma of things? made of things? Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you like that? Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I mean, I just described three things, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So, <laughs> what, are the, what, what were the top? Th uh, now, uh, what made them? <laughs> no, but uh, the uh, um, top, top three things that have made you as an artist. You think that have made you dedicate yourself to this, apart from wigs, of course. Obviously. Well, we have to say then, apart from wigs and. Um, yoga balls and iPhones and eggs maybe mm-hmm mm -hmm. a lot of eggs a lot of eggs uh, uh -huh. top three things like that that moment when you clicked yeah. mm -hmm. and said like I want to be an artist I can be an artist yeah I really want to do this pretty much as long as I can I would have to say um primary school hallway mm. Mm, that's one thing. Uh -huh. I get that. I, I understand. Um, the letter O. Mm -hmm. um, oh no, two things. That was perfect. Now I'm just looking out <laughs> to find an object. A pool, maybe? <laughs> pool. Uh, mm. Swimming area. Blood. Blood. Mm. No blood in sight, though, I guess. Where is, is there any it blood was inside? A pool, so maybe that <laughs> <laughs> pool, pool of blood. Oh, pool of blood. Okay, okay. okay. Let's say pool of blood. Pool, pool of blood. Mm. Pool of blood. So signing off on pool of blood. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs>